per esprimere la sua presenza qui in mezzo a noi. Sveti Otac Papa Franjo da bi izrazio svoju nazočnost među nama. Holy Father Pope Francis in order to be able to express his presence among us. His presence in this place of grace that is Medjugorje. In order to be able to express his respect also for all of you who have come from various parts of the world. You have come to reflect together and pray together at this festival. Desired to direct to you a message in which he powerfully calls us to learn from Jesus how to realize our own mission, plan for our lives in service. Ci benedice tutti, augura per ciascuno di noi il bene che viene dal Signore Gesù, da Dio Padre, dallo Spirito Santo. And at the end of his message, he blesses all of us in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Con insistenza di pregare per lui che adesso è anziano e piuttosto malato. And the Holy Father continuously directs a message to all of you, asking you to pray for him because he is older and sick. So that he may be able to fulfill his service that he has received several years ago, which is a service of the Pope of the Universal Church. The message of the Holy Father, the Pope, to the participants of the Youth Festival. Beloved, at that time, as the Gospel writer Matthew tells us, Jesus addressed everyone, said, Come to me, all of you, who are tired and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Learn from me. For I am meek and humble of heart. And you will find rest for your souls. Truly, my yoke is sweet and my burden is light. As in those days, so also today, Jesus dresses all of you, dear young people, and through the theme of this year's festival, inspired by the gospel mentioned a moment ago, he's sending his invitation to you. Learn from me, and you will find peace. Learn from me, and you will find peace. The Lord does not address these words only to the apostles or to some of his friends, but to all who are tired and burdened. He knows how difficult life can be, that there are many things that burden our hearts. 
numerous disappointments, wounds from the past, burdens that we carry, injustices that we endure, numerous uncertainties and worries. In contrast to all this, there is Jesus who gives us his invitation. Come to me and learn from me. Come to me and learn from me. This invitation requires a walk and a trust. And it does not permit us to stand still. Stiff and scared before life's challenges. It sounds easy. But in dark moments, we simply shut ourselves in particularly because of this solitude Jesus desires to bring us out and that is why he tells us come, come the way out is in the relationship with the Lord in seeing the one who truly loves us However, it is not enough to just come out of ourselves. We also need to know in which direction you are to go. Because there are so many misleading offers that promise a better future. But leave us alone again and again. For this reason, the Lord shows us where to go. Come to me. Come to me. Dear friends, with an open heart, go to him. Take his yoke and learn from him. Go, take, learn. Go to the master to become his disciples and those who inherit his peace. Take his yoke. But you will discover God's will and become partakers of the mystery of his cross and his resurrection. The yoke that Christ speaks of is the law of love. It is the commandment he left to his disciples. Love one another as I have loved you. Love one another as I have loved you. Because the real remedy for man's wounds is a life based on fraternal love, which finds its source in the love of God. By walking together with Him and imitating Him,
You will learn from him. He is the Lord. He is the Lord. Who does not impose a burden on others that he himself does not carry. He turns to the humble, the small, the poor, because he himself became poor and humble. If we really want to learn, it is necessary to humble ourselves and recognize our own ignorance and arrogance. All those moments when we think that we can do everything on our own and our own strength. And especially to have an open ear for the Master's words. In this way, we get to know his heart, his love. His way of thinking, seeing, and acting. But being close to the Lord and following him requires courage to be near the Lord and to follow him requires courage. Beloved, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Go to him with everything that you carry in your heart. He's the only Lord who offers true refreshment and true peace. Follow the example of Mary, his and our mother, who will lead you to him. Entrust yourselves to her, who is the star of the sea, a sign of hope on a turbulent sea that leads us to the harbor of peace. She who knows her son will help you to imitate him in your relationship with God the Father. In your relationship with God the Father, in compassion for your neighbors, and in the awareness of what we are called to do. To be children of God. To be children of God. At this moment, in the heart of summer, the Lord invites you to go on a vacation with Him. To the most special place that exists. And this is your own heart. Dear young, Gee, while you are resting in Jesus Christ these days, I entrust you all to the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Heavenly Mother, so that by her intercession and example, you may take upon yourself the sweet and light burden of following Christ. Let the gaze 
of God the Father who loves you accompany you so that when you meet others you can witness the peace that you will receive as a gift in return I pray for the intention and I bless you and at the same time I entrust myself to your prayers I am praying for that intention and I bless you and at the same time I entrust myself to your prayers Pope Francis <laughs>